Hi, Rusty Stainless here. Now this is the follow-up to my uh, LiPo battery modification uh, video and there's the cable coming out there. Uh, make sure you watch that first if you want to get into this, get the best out of it. Now, to add, so we've got the cable put in and now we need to mount this battery here and, and put it on safely. And part of how I'm going to do that is I need a way to stick it down and then I've got these cables, uh, not cables, the uh, Velcro straps which utilise the existing hooks or loops on the uh, side of the uh, chassis there and we're going to set them up so that they can go across there and hold the battery on. But the first thing we're going to do to help secure this battery down is so I've 3D printed a plate and this battery plate goes on there like that and it clips down over the back just do your little clipping like that like so and that now gives a way to that I'll stick that tray to the battery and that'll be a way for it to come on and off and as a and the security will come through I'll show you how I double double hook over this uh, velcro and make it secure alrighty so let's take this off here for the moment now how do we stick this battery to this tray well we use it some stuff called uh, oh, move this for a second gorilla mounting tape now this stuff is amazing it's a bit gooey to work with but by god it sticks I love it I use it for most things you know, on my RC aircraft and um, mounting whatever I can with it so okay put that aside and so, with the tray here, we then are going to measure out a piece here. Now one thing I'm going to do is because it's, it won't do two runs cleanly, so I'm going to measure out one length, I'm going to cut it in half, and I'll just put a strip either side there. Alright, and now... I could stick the battery on now, but I won't because I just want to get it nice positioned exactly right on the drone. So what I'll do is put this tray back in here now and put you in there and you go clip, clip. All right. And because we want to make sure we get this battery up nice and tight for a sort of in its working position okay so that's where it's going to be and we'll let that uh, do some sticking there and I just want to talk you through the um, let's put this over here for a side so what we've got here just take them off for a second this is 20 mil wide. Um, it's not sticky back or anything. It's just the plane. Um, that's the loop. That's the hook. Now the hook piece is roughly 200 mils long. And the loop, it only needs to be roughly 150 mils long. So, oops, gotta be to the, the loop's got to be to the inside. For this to work best. All right. So, and then on the other side, this is going to be, yes, this is going to be the hook outwards. All right. So to hook the battery on, we put that over 
the, the hook part's going to go down first. And we want it to be, you just, you just adjust it to make it work. But roughly we're going to get it to go like that. That'll tighten. And that that's nice and secure now. That can't fall off. So it's all connected up. And uh, you just power on. And there you go. And we can take that for a little bit of a fly to see how it performs. Okay, so you've seen it up in the air now. I just want to do, uh, that was the first run out with this battery set up like this. So let's just undo the connector. Uh, we'll undo our strap, safety strap. And back off that away. And now we just lift the battery off. And what I'm showing here is that our Mr. Gorilla grip is oh, probably could have been a little bit tighter a little bit loose there but maybe that was the heat off the battery um, so yeah might have to experiment with um, the best uh, material for sticking it but um, that certainly helped like there's no way you can pull that uh, laterally um, and it was strapped over that way so it couldn't flop pop out that way but um, yeah this is now convenient to take to your um, lipo charger and just sit it there and plug in and uh, this is I like this battery it's got the uh, you put your balance lead in there separately you know, take it off while you're flying so that's the Hyperion G8 um, seem to be uh, dual voltage good good batteries all righty there you go.